Yo, what's up guys? Anyways, I'm doing another update. This time it's gonna be pretty interesting to the, to those of you who uh, really love pirate games. Especially that one that's Assassin's Creed Black Flag pirate games. Uh, as you can see, I own the game. Let me just move these. So yeah, I own the game. I own... Almost all the Assassin's Creed games, not the Chronicles. I'm not interested in the Chronicles. I just need Freedom Cry and Liberty to complete the collection. And if I want to, then I'll add Chronicles into the collection, but I'm not too interested in Chronicles. But as you can see, I'm in the middle of a legendary ship battle, and if you guys haven't already noticed already, this particular ship battle has a particular little glitch that you guys might know about. And for those of you who don't, stick around and I'll teach you the basics of this infinite money glitch. Anyways, uh, let, uh I gotta find a place to put this. Alright guys, let me just fix this. So basically, hold on, let me turn the lights off that way you guys can better see without the glare. I think you guys get the general idea of what to do. So yeah. So basically, you have to go to this twin... You gotta go to the legendary ship battles that have the twin ships. Okay, I'll also show you where all the ships, legendary ships are at. Now, it doesn't show on here since I did this glitch like multiple times already. But in case you do haven't noticed... Well, <laughs> why did I say you two? But in case you guys haven't noticed... These two are the legendary ships right here. That's that's the ships you want to go to. That's the twin ships right there. This right here is one of the trickiest ones, but I managed to do it on the first try, which is the Il, it's, it's the El Impluto ship. And it's one of the most feared ships out there because not only is it fast, but it does a lot of damage when it rams you. Doesn't all the ships do? <laughs> But anyways, there's one I didn't do yet. This is the armored ship one. Basically, it's armored on both sides. That way it takes no damage. You can only do damage from above, which, it, let's just face it, it doesn't do much. Or from behind. Now, if you guys want to board the ship, then, you know, go ahead and do that. So anyways guys, yeah, this is the armored ship location, so if you guys want to have a real challenge, you know. Oh, and in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, every ship battle that you complete, you get 20,000 reals. But thanks to uh, this glitch I'm about to show you guys, it's pretty much irrelevant. Now here, I'd say it would be the easiest ship battle you could find. And when I first encountered it, I didn't even know it was there. You know, I was like, I, I was ill-prepared for it. So I com I got completely destroyed. That is until I got, I managed to learn the boarding glitch. Which basically, like, before you even, before it triggers the cutscene, you might want to, like, get off the wheel. Because... Your ship's still going to have a little bit of speed to it, so it's going to end up going a little bit forward. So you'll be able to board the enemy ship as long as you're at the front of the ship. And if the and if you're close enough, then you can just jump onto the deck. Because you can't just climb onto the ship. You have to jump on the deck. Because they made it to where you can't exactly uh, just climb on it. Because it's supposed to be a ship battle, not a ship raid. But yeah, this is the easiest one. It's, it's supposedly the ghost ship, quote, quote, as I do the hand quotes. But it's really, like, by fact, it's just another British ship that you can encounter. And, of course, this is where all the magic happens. The twin ships themselves. The sovereign, uh, the royal sovereign right here. Yeah, that's the Royal Sovereign. That's without a doubt. And which I think, and this one, which I think it's named pretty, pretty darn well. It's the HMS Fearless. And I think it's got a wonderful name. It's got black sails. 
it basically looks like my ship, but my ship has a little bit more armor to it. Like, but if these ships were both put together, combined, it, it's an unstoppable force. Let me tell you, it, it's not... Let me just say that it would be on par with the armored ship if those two ships were put together. Because the rate of fire is unbelievable with just one of these ships. Like, seriously, that... that the rate of fire is unbelievable. I, I, trust me, I faced it firsthand. So, if you guys want to do this glitch, you guys have to go spend a little money and basically go into all these diving areas, like the, the shipwrecks, the, like this one, the wreck over here. Basically, you don't want to go by the ones by the islands, because that's just smuggler caves you want to go by ones by the ocean because that's basically where all the uh, ship upgrades are at apparently and you want to have all the elite ship upgrades like like I don't have all the ship upgrades but I have enough to be on par with a uh, legendary ship which basically, basically me makes me a legendary ship I mean, you can easily do this without upgrades. You just gotta board them. But with the twin ships, you're not gonna board them both. Yet you're only gonna be able to board one. But yeah, you wanna have. Basically, what you wanna have is elite hull armor. That that's that's number one priority. Otherwise, you're not gonna last very long. You also need the elite broadside cannons and chase cannons. Uh, they're not going to be exactly elite, but they're going to be good enough to get you through. Because it'll help you shoot you fo forward. And you want to get the ram to its elite level as well, because it'll do a ton of damage against these legendary ships. Trust me. Like, trust me. If you run, if you simply go full speed, ramming into one of those ships, it's going to do so much damage. Trust me. You want to have Elite Round Shot 2 and Chain Shot, along with Elite Mortars and Swivels. Definitely Swivels. Now, you could get the other two upgrades, just the Firebell Strength and Heavy Shot Strength, but you won't really need them due to the fact that the twin ships are, like, just one of the twin ships are going to be easy to take down. Trust me, it's, it's very easy to take one of them down without having to need these. I mean... As if, like, right now, the heavy shot does a lot of damage at level 2 strength. But eventually, I'm gonna have, end up having to get one of them, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm, actually, I have enough to get, get one of these right now. Both of them, actually, yeah. I can go find the plans and get it done. And then I can make up some of that money with this glitch. So, yeah. I would... If you guys are planning to do this 100, complete the game 100%, I wouldn't advise doing this forever. Because guess what? You're never going to complete it 100% if you want to do this glitch for the rest of your life. Now, you want to make sure you have some pretty good storage as well. At least above level 2 or level 3. That way you have enough to go up against both ships. Especially heavy shot, like mortars will do a little bit of damage, like, you want to have, like, even if it's elite strength, you're not going to be able to do much damage with the mortars against the legendary ships. But, with enough storage, you may do quite a bit of damage, at least a quarter. And trust me, that's a lot of damage done to a ship. That's basically all you need. Yeah, that's basically all you need. Other than the advice I'm about to give you guys. Now if you guys want to do this the most epic way ever. You guys might want to have. A mermaid figurehead equipped to your ship. <laughs> Along with. Either sea whale equipped to your ship if you want. And leather ships equipped to your ship if you want. Now, if you guys don't want to, like, look like a freaking, like, basically look like Assassin's Creed, per 
version of the Black Pearl doing this, and you don't really have to do it. You know, I just I just wanted to do it because I think my ship looks amazing with black sails, elite hull armor which gives it a dark tone, and other stuff like that. Now, you guys are probably wondering why don't I have the in Pluto's figurehead. Well, it's because I can't get a community challenge because they don't do those anymore, apparently. Unfortunately for me, I got my game late, so I can't exactly get this, even though you can actually get it for, like, basically, you can just, like, in this game, you can't just simply go buy it, but in Assassin's Creed Rogue, at least you can. Because in Assassin's Creed Rogue, at least you have the liberty to just buy whatever you want, and not have to worry about going through a process of things to get these. But anyways, guys, you guys are probably saying, Come, get to the freaking video already. We're waiting. I know you're waiting. Settle down. We're all waiting. I'm a worst captain. So yeah, there's, there they are. They're level 75, but they don't have a lot of health. Now, you don't want to completely annihilate them both. You want to get killed by I'm one. America, I'm going to show you in just a second. This is the trick. And trust me, this is the one of the best glitches you can find, okay? You do not want to abandon your ways in glitching just yet. Oh, uh, little tip for you guys when I go up against these bad boys? Don't go between the ships. That's suicide. Go on the side of them if you have to. That way you don't completely get annihilated when you're trying to take one of them now. See, because these ships are so fast. Jesus Christ, it's like a war zone where I'm, where I'm at right now. So basically, you guys want to hurry up and land one of them as soon as possible. I advise the Royal Sovereign, because at least this one's not as brave as his little brother over there. So yeah, this may take a beat, guys, but this is completely worth it. And you guys might want to avoid as much damage as possible to your ship. Now if you have to, damage the other ship as much as possible in order to kind of keep it a little fair uh, where the other ship doesn't get left out. But mainly you need one target, and that's and you need one target only. So yeah, they're running away right now, but eventually I'm going to catch up to them, and I'm going to take one of them down. I mean, you can simply do this by boarding it, but it's a lot more fun if you battle it. But hey, like, we're pirates in this game. You don't need to fight fair all the time. You gotta be creative with your ways. If you guys manage to get this close, you might want to do as much damage as possible. Bang! Got it! Not enough though. There we go, we're doing some damage. And basically, there you go. Now, what I mean is, in do not destroy the other ship, I mean do not destroy the other ship. Because if you guys plan on doing this without having to spend a single cent, you guys might end up having to, uh... 
me turn this down a bit. So if you guys plan on uh, not having to spend a single cent on repairs and ammunition and all that other stuff, you guys are going to have to die. I know it sounds crazy. I, you guys are probably like, Kyle, that's the stupidest idea that you have ever, ever come up with. But seriously, come on. You got to give me a little bit of credit. Because at least when you die, you restart. But you don't lose your money because they can't take your money away. That, that's like unfair. So basically, you got to do whatever you can to make sure the other ship takes you down. Otherwise, it's it's like game over right there. You're, you're not going to be able to do this without having to spend all your money. I mean, sure, you can put up a little fight as a little one last stand. But you might want to get as close to the ship as possible to take the most amount of damage. That way, it can reboot your stuff, it can reboot your ship. It doesn't reboot your money, they can't do that. But basically, it, it's a best way to restart it. Okay, before I was interrupted there, basically you want to you want to get killed, okay? So just keep your ship there as long as the other ship is close to you, because you'll do it'll do a lot of damage to you if you're close to it. Come on, get it done. Got better things to do. And there you go, guys. Uh, let me just show you in just a second. By the way, guys, I'm not cutting anything. I'm not editing anything. Look, I have 60, over 60,000 reals now. Can you guys believe it? I have over 60,000 reals just for doing this a few times. Now, if you guys don't believe me, test it out yourself. Try it out. And then you'll believe me, because it's going to work. Trust me, it'll work. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. Now, about the mutt raids. Yes, you're going to need to spend money. Yes, you're going to need to spend the amount of money required in order to get this glitch going. Otherwise, you're not going to do anything to them. They're going to do so much damage to you, you're not going to be able to do anything. Like, seriously, like, let me go to the progress tracker. I am in sequence 5 right now. There's 13 sequences, and I'm in sequence 5. Because that's when you get the diving bell. If you guys can't wait until sequence 5, if you're, re if you're just starting out, if you can't wait until sequence 5 to do this glitch, that way you have the diving bell to get all the upgrades and everything else, because, let me just say, to start out, it is time consuming to get these upgrades. It is time consuming. But trust me, in the end, it is totally worth it. Like, it took me like a couple days just trying to get all the upgrades. Especially knowing that there's sharks all over the place in almost every wreck. Those sharks are the main problem I'm having. It's because the sharks, you're always all over the place on on patrol. So anyways guys, give me a second. So anyways guys, that's how you do the glitch. This is a 20 minute long video. Uh, it's, and sorry if you guys can't hear me, I had the volume on my TV at 30, but if you guys do were able to hear me, then good. If you guys weren't, then I'm sorry. Just follow the video, you'll, you'll see how to, how to do it. Like, I basically showed you everything you needed. I basically told you what it you, showed you what you needed to do. You know everything else. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, yes, you have to die if you're gonna reboot everything on your on your ship. In order to reboot the health, in order to reboot the ammunition, everything has to be rebooted. You have to die and desynchronize in order to restart it 
in order to keep your money and not having to, you know, worry about having to go to a nearby port and repair and then go all the way back. Because that's going to be more time consuming. It's better to do it this way. Okay, guys? Now that's it, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, for those of you who are currently op upgrading your homestead, then good luck to you on that. Good luck on t to you for that. So I, I wish you the best of luck. But me, I'm going to continue doing this glitch for a little bit longer. And then take down the twin ships and then the armored ship. And then get along with my day. Because me, I don't see myself doing this for pretty much eternity or the rest of my life or anything like that. So yes, eventually I'm going to end up taking down both the twin ships. Just because I'm tired of it. And I'm probably going to do this today and get done with it. And just go all out and try to complete the my home and everything else. So yes, it's going to be quite a bit when I'm finished with all that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm rambling on as usual. Anyways, just... Enjoy the glitch. Enjoy the glitch. No, no, you don't gotta give me any credit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me credit. Yes, give me credit, because I just showed you guys the glitch. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye. Hey, look, it says P4.